Hey everybody, it's me Gambit896 and I'm back with another video for you guys. Today I'll be re-reviewing I Vampire Volume 1, Tainted Love. The series is written by Josh Rahel Fialkov and illustrated by Andrea Sorrentino and is published by DC Comics under their new 52. And this first trade collects the first six issues of the series. So the story starts out and we meet our two main vampire characters, uh, Andrew Bennett and Mary Queen of Blood. And right with the first issue, we are treated to a fantastic double-page spread of Andre Sorrentino's artwork. And also, I have to give credit to the inker of this series, uh, Marcelo Maiolo, who does a really great job um, at inking this series and giving it a very, um, a very dark, gritty, horror-orientated horror and very vertigo-ish kind of feel. Um, for a book that, although it's um, about vampires and has two vampires as the main characters, um, feels, like I said, very much like a Vertigo book set within the regular DC New 52 universe. Here we can see some shots of Andrew and Mary together. So the story starts out, and Josh Rahel Fialkov does a great job at flashing out the history between the two characters, They've been together for over 400 years, and while Andrew believes that both vampires and humans can all coexist, Mary is of the opposing viewpoint, and she believes that vampires were destined to inherit the Earth from the far inferior humans. Once again, here's another example of Andrew and Mary together. Like I said, the artwork in this by Andre Sorrentino is absolutely fantastic. Coupled with the equally on par um, efforts of Marcelo Maiolo on the inks. And then with issue two, we get some insights into uh, Mary's personality, um, particularly in a few lines of dialogue through her inner monologue, such as, uh, My name was Mary Seward, now they call me Mary Queen of Blood, and it's amazing to be me. Um, as she says, she's thinking this while. Uh, Chowing down on this unfortunate janitor's neck. And then there's another example of... Um, with herself and one of her fellow vampires. Um, in her army that she's created. Um, there is no enemy. Humanity is no more a threat than an ant is to an elephant. So that really gives you um, an insight into Mary's personality. And again, here's another great double page spread. Um, and some great dialogue of Mary rallying her troops ready for war, as you can see there and there. Um, I'll just turn over my notes page here. There's some really great action scenes in this. Um, I'll just show you a few pages as an example, as you can see there. And there. So the story follows both um, Andrew while he tries to stop Mary and her army of vampires and also um, follows Mary's exploits as well. Um, Josh Fialkov, upon rereading this and listening to uh, James Donnelly's review of issue, um, issue 17, uh, Josh Fialkov really likes his ill-timed humour. Um, there's a line from Mary at the end of issue 2 uh, my name is Mary Queen of Blood. As of today, I'll be the ruler of the entire filthy planet. What do you do this morning? <laughs> Which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then with issue three, we were introduced to um, our two main supporting characters of uh, Professor John Troughton, who is Andrew's best friend, as you can see in this flashback scene to the hippie days, which is also the uh, first meeting between John Troughton and Andrew Bennett. And there. And then is another really great double page spread. And again, even when this book is at its darkest and most bloody, 
Um, like I said, Josh Fyarkov really likes his ill-timed humour, which I'll get onto in a second. As you can see, again, more fantastic artwork from Andrea Sorrentino. There. And there. Um, there's some great lines, um, particularly from this one vampire which um, Andrew um, lets escape. You think that you think we are all there is? We are legion. Actually, I just staked everyone in the house, so you know, not so legion. Oh crap! And then she runs off, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, and then we get introduced to our second um, secondary character of Tig. As you can see there. We then have a road trip to Gotham City um, between Andrew, John and Tig. And we also find out some interesting tidbits of information from John Troughton about what happens to a vampire when um, they live to be as old as Andrew Bennett. Um, which I don't want to give away because I want you to go, guys to go out and read this for yourselves. Um, also throughout these six issues, um, Andre Sorrentino does a great job of illustrating some of the uh, vampire powers in this. Um, they can turn into bats, as you can see from this double page spread. Um, they can, they're allergic to holy water and they can turn into steam as well as a few others which I don't want to give away. Um, there's some really cool guest appearances in this, um, particularly one of my favourites being John Constantine, as you can see there. And then there's Andrew turning into mist and briefly kicking John's ass and telling him, um, I'm going to go and stop Mary in case I don't stop her and her army. Tell all your wizard and warlock friends to be ready for war um, because that's what's coming. And there's also some really great surprising revelations throughout these first six issues as well. Um, the only niggle that I have with this first story arc um, is the character of Tig, to me personally, comes across as a little bit one-dimensional, but perhaps um, Josh Fialkov uh, initially wrote her that way. Um, but that's the only kind of real niggle that I have with, um, with this first story arc and the character of Tig. But again, it might just be down to personal preference, um, in all honesty. Again, there's another really cool guest appearance by Batman, as you can see there. And then, with the end of it, well, up until the end of issue six, there's some great action scenes, and um, there's some really great um, surprising reveals as well. Again, Josh Fialkov really likes his ill-timed humor, which I'll get onto again in a second. As you can see, more great artwork from Andrea Sorrentino there. And there. Um, Vampiric Horde, Murdery Jerks, Evil, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, Mary Queen of Blood, Vampire Queen, Ex Girlfriend, Way Evil. And again, I'll just show you some more of the action scenes and the artwork. As you can see there. And there. Um, initially, when I first picked up this first uh, trade paperback and I read the ending to issue, excuse me, issue six, I was like, huh? oh my god, just came completely out of left field. I did not see the ending coming. And I initially, when I first read it, I wanted the second trade there and then to find out where the story was going to go. Um, and I'll also be reviewing volume two um, relatively soon for you guys. Um, overall, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, the writing by by sorry, I keep getting the names mixed up. The writing by Josh Fialkov is absolutely fantastic. Um, equally on par is um, Andre Sorrentino's artwork, and like I said, Marcelo Maiolo, who does the inks, does a really, really great job at um, bringing Sorrentino's artwork to life. If you're a fan of Josh Fialkov, if you're a fan of Andre Sorrentino. Um, from his artwork um, on uh, Green Arrow with Jeff Lemire, again from DC's New 52. Uh, if you're a fan of DC Comics, if you're a fan of vampires, or if you're a fan of horror comics, or if you're a fan of the original um, iVampire series by J.M.D. Mateus and uh, Tom Sutton 
from the 1980s um, issues from the House of Mystery comic, then I definitely say that this uh, new series of My Vampire is definitely worth checking out. If I had to give this first volume a rating, I'd give it a 5 out of 5, and I highly, highly recommend it. And that about concludes this review video, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. As always, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. If you're new, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, this is Scambit896, signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.